Hi everybody, this is Lynn from Mama's Got Plans and this week we are going to be planning for the week of April 23rd through April 29th. I am going to be using this kit from um, Hello Petite Paper. This was a mystery kit from last year and it's called uh, Paris in the spring so I thought I should finally stop hoarding it and actually use it. So I'll just quickly go through the pages. Here is the first page with all of the full boxes. Of course I love this little double box here with the little dog with his beret. And then here is they're all washi strips with the bottom washi. For the bottom washi I am going to try to pull in some foil. These are two foiled washies from Simply Gilded. Of course I thought the pink kind of mimicked the um, polka dot that is already there but it's got some gold in it. And then I did pull out, this is from her neutrals um, collection and I just thought that you know, you don't really have the opportunity to use this type of color, but it really goes really well with the color that's right here. And you'll see also the color that is um, in the checklist. So I'm going to see if I can pull this in a little bit as well. So again, those are the washi strips and just a little bit of deco there. And then again, here are the full boxes. I really love how she changed it up a little bit. She put a little bit of a background with the polka dots here. And then this one has the Eiffel Tower in the background. I'm not sure if you can see that. There you go um, on camera. But again, I thought that this washi worked really well with that color of the full boxes. And then here are her little things and her half boxes. And then here's her functional sheet. She's got her scallop checklist, um, flags in all different sizes, some icons, and of course some labels, her weekend banner, which is always so beautiful, and her little asterisk dots, which I absolutely love. And then finally, here is her headers and her glitter header um, sheet. And again, there's this gold there, so I was going to try to pull in some gold with my washi as well as some other items. So if you want to see me plan using this kit, stay tuned and uh, that's coming right up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is lay down my Simply Gilded washi and then I'm also going to use one of the strips from the Hello Petite paper kit. I do love that she, um, at least lately, has been um, making her bottom washi into two separate strips. And it just makes it so much easier because you can just very easily decide to use one or both of them on your spread. So I love that. Um, next, I'm going to be using these date covers. These are from Simply Watercolor Co., I believe. Um, and I had to white out the uh, dates that were printed on the Erin Condren because, you know, the background was white and they were showing through a little bit. The clear date dots, um, I'm not sure where those are from. They may, I think they're from Station Stickers. Again, I'm just kind of um, new to foil and everything, so I'm just getting a few things here and there from all different shops and trying them out. So it's been, it's been fun, <laughs> to say the least. Um, I'm also going to use flags from the kit to cover the flags in the corners of the Erin Condren. Moving on to my sidebar, the first thing that I wanted to do obviously was put down a full box. I decided to use um, the one in the kit that said bonjour. Um, and I thought it was good because it kind of, again, highlighted that tannish nude color, um, which I'm going to try to pull in with my bottom washi, or not my bottom washi, with my Simply Gilded washi as the plan with me goes on. I then put down a This Week header, and this kit did not come with any habit trackers, but I do have some uh, Hello Petite habit trackers in my stash, so I just pulled out this one in like this minty green color to use, and then I put down a to-do header, and then I have been just using my sidebar to mark down some weekly to-dos, um, not necessarily something that has to be done on a specific day, and I decided to use the ombre heart checklist that had the Eiffel Tower in the background. I thought that was very appropriate for the sidebar there. And then this kit also did not come with a Monday through Sunday tracker. Uh, which I didn't realize while I was going through the kit. So um, I, that one, again, I just pulled it out. I had a Hello Petite paper sampler that I had gotten on a previous order, and I just pulled it out because I thought the pink matched the kit perfectly. And then here I am just putting down a few pieces of the deco before moving on to Monday. 
So the first thing that I'm going to do is put down the glitter headers that are included in the kit. And I'm just going to do that for the whole week while I ha I'm focused on that. Otherwise, I might forget. And then once I'm done with the glitter headers, I am going to just go ahead and put down the weekend banner while I'm just thinking about it. I love her weekend banners. She makes them so pretty and beautiful, and this one is definitely no exception. So moving back to Monday, the first thing I'm going to do is mark down Coffee Monday. I am going to use a half box and my favorite Coffee Monday sticker from Paper and Milk, as well as this Tofu the Panda sticker from Stick With Me Shop. And then I'm just going to place those down, and there was you know, some extra space there up at the top, so I just drew in a little arrow. And the next thing I'm going to do is use one of the labels from the kit. Um, I did want to mark down that I uploaded a haul that day on my YouTube channel. And I'm going to use this Van Sticky Chibi Girl upload sticker to go along with that. Below that, I want to use another um, actually, I'm going to use a little things because I did need to mark down that I was having a meeting with my um, contractor. We're having a really huge backyard project done this spring and summer, and um, it's been a lot of meetings and kind of figuring things out and ordering materials and that kind of thing. So I just wanted to mark that down. I wanted to use a piece of that Simply Gilded Washi there underneath it. and um, But in order to do that, I needed to white out some of the lines that are pre-printed on the Erin Condren just so they didn't show through since it is washy. And I'm just using, I have this metal ruler. I've had it for years. I'm not really sure where it came from to be honest, but I do like it because it gives a very sharp edge. And I'm using my X-Acto knife. I get a lot of questions about that X-Acto knife. It's a fingertip X-Acto knife. It's from Fiskars. You can find it at Michaels or Amazon. And I love it because it just gives a lot of control. So next to the, um, where I wrote Vreeland, I did use a bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts, and then I did below the Simply Gilded Washi put down that full box that has the macarons on it because I just thought it was so pretty. I decided to move down to the bottom of the day. Sometimes I'll do that when I'm just not sure how much room I'm going to have, so I used a little things to mark down that my boys had an AR session. That sneaker sticker is from Planner Frenzy. I used a film script and a laundry script. Both of those are from Bookish Planning. And then that camera sticker, which I absolutely love because the little, you can see where the lens is. It's a little heart that is foiled. That is from Lovely Plannery. And then um, that little emoji sticker next to the laundry script is from the Coffee Monsters Co. So I was able to add in a piece of that Simply Gilded um, kind of nude colored washi. And then below that, I'm using a Little Things to mark down that I had an Amazon delivery that day. And that Munchkin sticker is from Once More With Love. So now moving on to the top of Tuesday, the first thing I did was put down a full box and I decided to use the one with the Eiffel Tower on it. After that, I'm going to use a label sticker to mark down that my cleaning service was coming that day. And I love using my little Tofu the Panda um, cleaning stickers. They're so adorable. So I just picked one that had the same colored minty green color as the label. After that, I did have a dentist appointment. So again, I used another label sticker and that munchkin is from Once More With Love. These are my favorite like teeth <laughs> or like dentist or orthodontist stickers because I just think they're so cute. There's like four different varieties and they're all adorable. So I just use that to mark my dentist appointment. And now here I am just trying to decide which header I wanted to use. It was, you know, this week there were some um, like patterned headers and then there was also some solid. So I was trying to do a mix of both. So I decided to go with the solid pink header that said odds and ends and then after that I'm using one of the ombre heart checklists and I didn't need all of the check um, I didn't need all of the checks I didn't need all of the lines so I just cut one off I do love that hello petite paper has like a seven line checklist you know some kits only do five lines um, or six lines I prefer like six or seven that way if I want to cut them down to like three or four, I still have 
a piece of the checklist that I can use um, later on if that makes sense because sometimes if they're only five and I cut it down I only have like a two lines left of the checklist and it doesn't really usually I have more than two things to do so it doesn't really always work out um, Okay, so onto the bottom of Tuesday, I did use two little things to mark down that my boys both had baseball games. Those baseball stickers are from Planner Frenzy, and they're my favorite way to mark the times of games. I just write the time directly on the uh, little baseball sticker. And then I did use a piece of the Simply Gilded Polka Dot Washi, as well as an Edit Script sticker that is from Bookish Planning. And that foiled Edit sticker is from Rory's Sweet Addictions. So moving on to Wednesday, the first thing I did was use another foiled YouTube sticker. Again, that's from that same um, sticker sheet from Rory Sweet Addictions to mark that I uploaded my B6 plan with me that day. After that, I'm using a Little Things and an Emoti kind of breakfast sticker to mark down that I had breakfast with my husband at Bill's, which is like a local luncheonette next to my house. Not next to my house. It's like down the road from my house. But um, if you watch my YouTubes, you guys know we always have breakfast and lunch there because it's great. After that, I used a to-do header. And then I don't know why, but I kind of like switched down to the bottom here. Um, I think I wanted to see how much room I was going to have left over. So I put down this full box and then I am using another piece of the Simply Gilded Bow Washi. And then above that, I'm going to use a little things again to mark down an AR session for my, um, it will actually just be for my youngest um, because unfortunately my oldest was injured um, in his baseball game the night before. He actually um, had a pretty significant sprain to his shoulder. He usually plays first base and then does some pitching and um, it was a really cold night. They called him into pitch later in the game, and I just don't think he had enough time to warm up properly because they were just trying to finish the game. So they only gave him about five warm up pitch pitches, and then um, about 15 pitches in, like he was facing like his third batter, um, he just felt like a really sharp pain in his shoulder. Uh, and then like, like a warm burning sensation. I feel bad because he actually lost control of his arm and hit the pitcher, um, hit the batter rather, because he just like his arm just, he said he just lost all control. And um, we were concerned because we've had a lot of kids recently, um, you know, have some serious uh injuries with their shoulders and elbows from pitching and stuff. And uh, we brought him to the ER the night, that night, Thankfully, they did an x-ray. Everything was fine, which was great. And then I brought, I brought him to the orthopedist on Wednesday. And um, thankfully, they did not think that there was any tendon um, issues or anything like that. It was simply muscle-related. So unfortunately, he's out of baseball now. For the next uh, couple weeks, he'll go and support his team, but he won't be able to play. Um, so it kind of stinks because, you know, he was looking forward to this season. I'm sure if you guys have kids who play sports, you know, he, he plays football and baseball. So, you know, the winter is long while he's waiting to get back to his next sport. So he's um, kind of disappointed, but hopefully he'll be able to get back there in about three weeks or so. Okay, so moving on to Thursday. The first thing I did was put down a full box, and then after that, I put down again another piece of that Simply Gilded Polka Dot Washi. Following that, I put down a half box with an Emoti sticker, um, which is kind of like a meeting work sticker because it was Take Your Child to Work Day. I don't know if that's... I, I don't know if that's like a national thing or just a New Jersey thing, but um, my youngest actually went to work with my husband. My oldest, again, because of his injury, he was just, he was in a sling. He was like not happy. So I let him just stay home and kind of chill with me, um, you know, while mommy worked at home <laughs> doing laundry. So I just marked that again with a half box. And then I moved down to the bottom of Thursday. Again, I put down a little things with a sneaker sticker from Planner Frenzy to mark down a plyo session for my youngest. 
Above that, I used another little things to mark down that I painted my nails. That foiled nail polish sticker is from Tasseled Planner. Above that, I used a pillow sticker with the eyelashes, which I love, to mark down that I had a little nap that afternoon, and that is from Lovely Rose Prints. That foiled uh, paperclip bow sticker is from, who is that from? I'm not sure. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I don't know who that is from, but I used that to mark down that I had to call um, our trust company regarding some issues, and then I did just use a to-do header and an ombre heart checklist just to mark down some things. Um, initially, I was going to use three lines on the, heck, uh, the, the heart checklist, but I did switch it to four, and I just kind of moved everything around while I was off camera. Okay, so moving on to Friday, I put a label up at the top and then I used a foiled like heart balloon sticker. I believe that is from Tasseled Planner um, to mark down that it was my niece and nephew's birthday. They're twins and they were turning 17 that day, which is a little crazy. Um, I then used a half box and that take my money sticker is from Fox and Cactus to mark down that it was the SPC anniversary bundle release. Thankfully, I was able to get one. I know it was so crazy because I don't even think they actually showed up in the Etsy shop. I don't know how I, I ended up seeing a picture of it somehow on Etsy and I just clicked it and then clicked buy it now and I got it, but I don't even know if I was in the actual shop when I saw it. It was kind of nuts. Um, but anyway, so after that, I did use a little things again with another little breakfast emoji sticker to mark down that my hubby and I went to breakfast at Bill's. Um, you know, our favorite spot. And then after that, I used an odds and ends header. And then here I am debating. I hadn't used that kind of beigey color at all um, with the ombre heart checklist. And I, I don't know, I just, I pulled it in with the washi and, you know, some of the little things and stuff, but I just didn't know if I wanted a whole big, huge section of it with a um, list. So I decided to forgo that and just use kind of like that lavender bluish periwinkle um, color instead, but I did use some of the Simply Gilded Washi underneath it, again, just to pull in that color. And then I used a half box, and then, or rather I pulled down a full box, and then I used a half box down there at the bottom. I used a foiled uh, planner sticker that is from Tasseled Planner. And I just used it to mark down that I had a Hulu binge and uh, spent some, that evening planning. And then moving on to the weekend, the first thing that I'm going to do is um, use a little things to mark down a baseball game for my youngest. Again, using one of those baseball stickers from Planner Frenzy. After that, I'm using a half box to mark down that there was a combine for my oldest. And even though he was injured and he didn't participate, I still wanted to mark it down just so that you know, when I go back through my planner, I see, you know, what was going on that weekend, regardless of whether he participated and not. He was very disappointed that he couldn't participate, um, especially since he's been training all winter for it. He was able to do a combine the weekend before, so at least he does have some combine numbers. But yeah, he was not happy. Um, so it, it was a rough week for him. After that, I used the Simply Gilded Washi, and I put it across both Saturday and Sunday um, because I wanted to put down that double box below it. And then following that, I used a Little Things and that Tofu the Panda Chef sticker um, to mark down that we went to the diner. And then on Saturday evening, I used a TV Little Things to mark down that I watched Looming Tower. And then a movie time like half box from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark down that my husband took my youngest and his two friends to go see the Avengers movie, which they liked, although my youngest said he was disappointed, um, but he didn't want to give it away to me. So I don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> and then above that, I did use a laundry script sticker and a Van Sticky Chibi Girl to mark down that I also did laundry. And then here at the bottom of Sunday, I used a today header and then again I'm cutting up part of an ombre heart checklist just to mark down some things that I needed to get done. I also used um, two foiled stickers. Those are both from, where are they from? Hold on, I'm going to check right while I'm doing this. 
Those are from Simply Watercolor. Nope, those are from Lovely Plannery. Um, sorry about that, guys. It's hard to keep track. Those are from Lovely Plannery, and I just used those to mark down that I did some food shopping, and then I also had to pay my bills. And then I'm going to move back up to the top of Sunday here. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do, again, is use one of those um, heart foiled camera stickers. Again, that's from Lovely Plannery, and I love them. I'm using a film script sticker from Bookish Planning. And then I'm using a little things above that. Um, just to mark down that my husband and I had, I'm totally planning backwards here. <laughs> we ended up having a late lunch at Black River Barn. I'm using a fork and spoon sticker from Van Sticky. And then above that, I'm using a flag to mark down that I worked that morning at AR. Um, usually we have other people working behind the desk, but um, I was covering this Sunday, so yep. I marked that down and that bow sticker is from Okay Clever everybody, so this is a look at my completed spread and I really love the way that it came out. You guys know I am new to foil so I'm still kind of getting the hang of things but you can see I've got lots of foil here with the date headers, of course with the Simply Gilded Washi and then with some of my icons. I was able to incorporate um, both washies which um, I didn't know if I was going to be able to do. This washi is kind of a different color, so, um, but I figured if any kit, if it was going to work with any kit rather, um, it was going to be this one because, you know, it really matches the full box here um, and the little macarons that are there and also like the little dog there. So I hope that you enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so that you can keep up to date with all of my future uploads. I am going to leave a list of all the shops that I've used um, and mentioned down below in the description. So be sure to check that out as well as some PR and coupon codes that I have available for you guys. I'll see you soon.